G'day folks, welcome back to Karen's Training. So we're just going to do a quick one here on different types of shackles and their uses. So we'll start off with what is a D shackle. So a D shackle like this, just in the shape of a D. Okay, so D shackle, not so common in the industry, but these shackles are designed for a single sling only. So one of the more common places you may find a D shackle is on the corner of a lifting box or a lifting cage. All right, so it can go on the corner and then you'll just have your single sling running off, off, off it. Okay, so that's your D shackle. All right, then we'll go on to probably the most common shackle that we use, right, which is a bow shackle. So this is our bow shackle here. So big bow in it. All right, so with the bow shackle, right, they can be used for multiple slings. Okay, so what we've got this here, so a couple bits of information that's got to be found on the body of the shackle. Okay, so you can see it's got the working load limit here. So in this instance, we have a 8.5 ton shackle. Okay, you'll notice it also has an S there. The S is the grade of the shackle. Okay, so on the shackle, you'll find information such as the working load limit, the grade. Okay, we'll have some form of manufacturer's ID on it as well. Okay, and a bow shackle is for multiple slings. So it can be used on a single sling as well. Now, keep in mind when you're using a shackle, when you put it on a crane hook, all right, the pin will always sit on the hook, all right, and that allows the slings to come down the bottom there. Okay, so bow shackle, and it sits with the pin on the hook. In some instances, so for example, if you're using two legs of chain of a spreader bar, for instance, it's also a good idea. What you can do is you get two of them. Okay, I'll just put this one together with this one. Okay, you can put them together like that. So, when you, t when you do screw it up, all right, it up tight then just back it off a quarter of a turn and that stops it seizing up and makes it uh, easier to get off when you need to okay so if you've got it under a spreader bar okay if you put two like that it stops the ring on the um, two legs of chain trying to turn it and fight the shackle okay with a single one you'll find it's trying to go in the opposite direction so if you are putting um, a ring with two chains off the spreader bar it's always handy to use two of those shackles on the um, bottom of the spreader bar. Okay, so, and then we'll go to our third type of shackle. Okay, so we'll just close that one up, get that out of the way. So, the third shackle we're going to use is a three piece shackle. Okay, so a three piece shackle, alright, it's got the extra nut on it here, alright, and it pulls out there. And they're typically a bow shackle as well, alright, so. Once again, still used for multiple slings. Now, keep in mind when you're using the shackle, if you're using a three-piece, you'll know in the end there, if you can see it, it's got a little hole there. So that hole is for a safety pin to go through there. All right, so put that in there, open it up, okay, and that will stop that from being able to come undone. Okay, now remember when you are using a shackle, right, there's some things you want to make sure of before you use it. So before you want to use it, all right, always make sure it is the correct capacity. All right, so check that working load limit. Okay, you want to make sure that um, it's got the correct pin in it. Okay, because you can't, they're not interchangeable. The sh um, pin on the shackle belongs for that shackle. Okay, and if you are using this type of shackle, just check the threads as well, make sure those threads are nice and clear. Okay. Just like that. All right, so there's not much to them, but there is one thing that doesn't get told too often when you are using shackles. So your bow shackle shouldn't, with the pull on the um, shackle, it shouldn't go past that 45 degree mark. So about there on either side. Okay, so you can't have the slings pulling up here, all right? They're not designed for that. They're basically from the center, all right? 45 degrees up either direction is generally the maximum angle that should be used on a shackle, okay? So just keep that in mind because that doesn't get mentioned all that often, but you will find on some shackles they will even have a marking 
about there and there. These ones don't, some do, some don't. But at the end of the day, 45 degrees should be the maximum loading on that. Oh, they're not designed to be pulled to the side. Okay, so that was just a quick discussion on the shackles. So don't forget to like and subscribe and keep tuned for further videos. Thanks for your time. Thank you.